Hey everybody, Ann here, and guess what I'm doing today? Guess, can you guess? I'm all in red. They don't require us to wear <laughs> uniforms, but I just did my first dash, and it was for $6.49, and it was at this big factory place, and I had to try and find out which door, and they're all numbered like E this, E that, like hundreds of doors, but uh, luckily I got the very nice lady on the phone, and she told me how to get there, so, um, my first dash was for six dollars and some change. So here, take a look. Yay! Now this may not seem like a lot of money to you, but I didn't have to drive very far. It was only a couple of miles. It took me about five minutes to complete everything, and plus I got a dollar increase in pay for peak pay because it was supposedly really super busy during this time period. Oh, and I have to tell you today, almost all day long, they were having technical difficulties. I was having trouble getting dashes sent to me. I would only get the text message afterwards telling me that, you know, I had not done the dash. So that was a little annoying, but I'll talk about that later. So after trying to troubleshoot a little bit on my own that I wasn't getting the dashes sent to my app, just the text message on my phone stating that, I had not taken the dash and it's going to be given to somebody else, I decided that I would contact support via their chat system because otherwise it would have been a 30 minute phone call wait and I didn't feel like going through that. So uh, the person comes on and as you can see this is how the whole conversation went and it wasn't too bad. Immediately prior to this, she had texted me and explained that there was a system-wide issue in the area that I'm at. Um, dashers could not get the orders and people ordering DoorDash were having super long waits. So I mean, I sat there for several hours and um, just was waiting. Um, and they're supposed to t pay you $10 an hour even if you don't get any dashes. So I was most concerned about that because it seemed like I was wasting my time. In this exchange, you see her again trying to, you know, keep me calm and keep me happy. Um, and basically, I was just most concerned with, you know, wasting my time. Was I out here not even going to get the $10 an hour? So I asked her point blank. I actually asked her a couple of times. And as you see, she says yes. So I was satisfied with that app, uh, answer, I mean. And uh, then I went ahead and exited the chat and hoped for another dash. I thought this was pretty funny. And after a couple hours waiting, I ended up getting this dash, and it wasn't too bad. I only had to go five miles, and it was a quick order, in and out, done. And here's another dash, 1464, and it was a little bit further than the last one. I think it was a total of maybe seven miles. It was just for two meals, and it was kind of at a fancy upscale sort of down-home cooking place, if you can imagine that. Um, the food smelled really good. So this one was a lot better. And this is what the app says that I made for the day. Now clearly it does not include my minimum of $10 an hour for if I didn't make a full $10, you know, doing door dashes. And there were several hours that went by that I didn't get a single text. So the girl reassured me that yes, it will be, you know, I will be getting paid the minimum $10 an hour for the hours that I didn't, you know, do enough dashes. So I, I don't know how this works. I don't know how long it takes to get it. I guess I'll just sit around and wait. This is all new to me, but I will tell you that this was a lot of fun. It's easy to do. You can make money if you want to hustle. So yeah, I would recommend it to you guys and anybody, anybody who wants to make a, a little extra money and really that's all I need. I don't need to make buku buku bucks. So yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.